Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Fun 4, The New Order. Today, we'll be playing as Valerie Sablin's Beresha. Uh, the thing about Sablin is that played correctly, uh, this could be one of the most uh, wholesome paths in the whole game. But today, we're not here for a wholesome chunk of Sablin. Uh, instead, we're here to do the path that no one wants to do. Authoritarian Socialist Sablin. That's right, no wholesome Sablin today, but rather more... Uh, a pragmatic sapling. So anyways, let's get started on our journey with unwholesome sapling. So, in 1962, Russia finds itself in a revolution against the tyrannical Irkutsk. Comrade Sablin has declared the Buryat ASSR reborn. Thanks to Comrade Sablin, we have tasted freedom. And the time has come, comrades. For too long has the tyrant's Yagoda sat in his ivory tower. Brothers and sisters, we will light the spark of revolution right under Yagoda's feet. And now, let's win the revolution against Air Cruz boys. The spark. Valera, our spark has lit the flame burning in the people's hearts. They are with us and no other. And now we have defeated the president of the Supreme Soviet. Comrades, the tyrant is ours. Instantly, the crowd erupted into a euphoria. Soldiers hugged one another, tears streaming down their faces as the reports came in. Tonight, we celebrate. My comrades, rejoice. And with the revolution successful, we unlock a new focus tree and we can start with the revolution victorious. I keep thinking, how would it end? We face the most overwhelming obstacles and every day I send men to die bloody and horrible deaths. And now that our revolution is successful, the first thing we're going to do is to try the NKVD. The NKVD had done so much evil, but could it be rehabilitated? Could it even be just what they needed for the revolution to prevail? They can still serve the revolution. Only days after the trial, they walk the streets, proudly in their uniform with heads held high, staring out of the window of his room. Sapton wondered if he had done the right thing. No, he had the time for doubt. He had made the right decision. And now the next thing we're going to do is the fate of Yagoda. Genrik Yagoda, do you feel the slightest regret for the foul crimes you have committed against Russia and her people? Yes, I am sorry. I am very sorry that when I had the chance, I did not shoot you all. And so, when Yagoda's sentence was announced, five years on a prison farm, Saplin's jaw clenched. Consumed by a sudden wildness, Saplin yearned to leap forward, drag Yagoda out of the mud and give him the justice he deserved. Sablin pulled out his surface pistol and pumped two rounds into Yagoda's head. Valera, what have you done? You have executed him. The tyrant has not been executed. He has been shot. An eye for an eye will make the whole world blind. And now that we've dealt with the NKVD and Yagoda, we can stoke the fires where we can promote gender equality Comrades, are these attitudes towards women not reactionary? Then instead women are as important as men in achieving the triumph of the revolution. Ah, Ferreira, I knew you'd do the right thing. We're going to place the dominoes. Today, five soldiers will become the first woman of the revolutionary warlord state. Progress, baby steps on. And now that we've dealt with gender equality, we're also going to deal with the industry. Industry-wise, we're going to opt for light centralization. And we're also going to repair the roads. And finally, we can do the torch of hope. Comrades, the revolution waits for no one. Now Comrade Brown, regarding the Eastern fascists. And as you can see from those early decisions we made, Sablin is now authoritarian. And the influence of the Sablin Night Wing is low, while the Booker in his wing is high. But nevertheless, we still have to spread the revolution. And it's time to liberate the Far East from its oppressors. I wholeheartedly agree with supporting the Aldan partisans, Aldan, and the rest of Russia. After that, it was a simple matter of signing the treaty. The revolution's troops moved north into Aldan, and the partisans were finally freed. And now, we have peacefully annexed Aldan. And now that we've finished our unification with Aldan, we can do Far Eastern War. 
Comrades, our revolution has triumphed over its first adversary, the despot Yagoda. We stand against all tyranny. Comrades, we march to the east to bring liberation, to cast down the tyrants. No kings, no tyrants. The first place we're going to try to attack is Cheetah, and we're going to dethrone the Tsar. And now we can shatter the crown. I'm sorry for the state of your conditions. I will arrange for this to be remedied immediately. I, Comrade Sablin, I wish only to go home. Please have mercy. I love Russia and her people. I will never trouble you again. Exact justice. And now that Cheetah has been defeated, we're going to go for Magadan. And Magadan has capitulated as well. For your crimes, this court sentences you to 20 years of rehabilitative labor in the service of the revolution. Fascism is capitalism plus murder. And finally, the East is silenced. And it seems like uh, the defined mandate of Siberia to our north uh, is giving us a message. But I tell you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who mistreat you and persecute you. And instantly after sending the message, they have proceeded to declare war on us. And now, in our war of restraint against the defined mandate of Siberia, we're going to choose Annihilation. And now, in the war against the Holy, we're also going to crack down on the Opiate. And we have defeated the divine mandate of Siberia. This court of soldiers and workers find you guilty of crimes against the socialist revolution. You are hereby sentenced to two years and six months of rehabilitative labor dismissed. And now, with all our enemies defeated in the Far East, we can do a beacon of freedom. And now, we can form the Far Eastern Free Soviet Republic. Can idealism survive in these dark times? Now that we have formed the Far Eastern Soviet Republic, we get a new focus tree and we can begin with a new Red October. Today, we are no longer the Barretian Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. So tonight, comrades, tonight is the day to celebrate freedom. And for the political branch of our focus tree, uh, we get two basic branches. And we're first going to raise the flag of Lenin. I believe Vol Lenin was right in his choice to tighten party unity. Back then we still had the entirety of Russia. And what? Let reactionaries slip into our ranks? This is our revolution, comrades, and we cannot let it be tainted by thoughts of the revisionists. Now we're going to choose to reform the Zovnarkom. Such a choice would demonstrate the strong will of the state, but some worry that it would only serve to demonstrate a move towards tyranny. And now that we're done with the left side of the focus tree, we're going to raise the banner of freedom. This castle had turned back into the hut. You're doing great, Fyodor. You're reading much faster this week. Vanya, would you like to read a story? Yes, Papa. Once upon a time, there lived a fisherman with his wife. And we're going to centralize the education system. This, however, would surely be a controversial choice for many nationalities and regions who are used to having a measure of autonomy. Heated discussion was occurring in the chambers of the Central Committee. The topic was the rights of homosexuals. Decriminalization will be continued, but no more. And finally, we can do the first Reformed Party Congress. Ron, it worked in 1917. It can work here. This is in 1917. We need centralized organization if we want to see prosperity. Excuse us, Comrade Saplin. However, a dispute arose over the extent of the role worker Soviets should play in legislation. I think the obvious answer is that we must think pragmatically if we're going to survive. And now we have completed the political branch of our focus tree. Next up, we have our economic branch. And now we're going to choose and opt for a more Bucharinist way uh, to rebuild the military economy instead of focusing on the civilian economy. And for the question of famine, we're also going to maintain food authority 
This is one of the worst decisions we have ever had to do. The economy is just too important to be derailed every time a famine breaks out. And finally, we can complete the foreign affairs policy. And we're going to choose the new union. I'm a representative of the Disney Corporation, and my fellow diplomats propose to offer an international exhibition. We'll do it. Zaplin walked down the streets of Magadan. He did have to admit, despite his skepticism, it seemed to be a genuinely good idea. Mr. Zaplin, have you heard of Pepsi? I do not think I have. Drink, I think you'll like it. What do you think? It's delicious. Do you have any more? The Far Eastern Exhibition. Susanna Peshkurov waved the fan across her face as she walked down the sidewalk of Disneyland. Damn you, Braun. Oh, and looks like we have uh, two gamer unifiers here in Western Russia. It will certainly be interesting to fight them. <laughs> and finally, we can unite the world in song. Comrades, the time has come to cast off the blinders of nationalism and to awaken to the world around us. What we need is a new international. And since we have finished our focus tree, and it's still 1967, uh, I guess we have a year to just chill before the war starts. Oh, and it's 1969, which means we can start preparing for war against the Central Siberian Republic. And let's begin the invasion. And we have defeated the Central Siberian Republic. Uh, to be fair, that was uh, much harder than I thought it would. Uh, so now it's late 1970 and I've just defeated them. Uh, but yeah, now we can do the Siberian reunification. And we get a new focus tree and we're going to begin with in Lenin's footsteps. On Red Zeppelin, the Krasnoyarsk riots have been successfully suppressed, but six civilians are reported to be killed in the aftermath. The workers were demanding a return to increase council autonomy. He wouldn't even commit a single percent of the crimes of those dark days, and the road to a workers' liberation would be cleared of him. In our new focus tree, we get three basic branches, and we're first going to do empower the NEP. Clearly, the transition to socialism will not be a quick thing. Instead, we should use the industrial programs of the new economic policy. And now we're done with empower the NEP, and we're going to do empower the party. Comrade Zablin, the results of the election for the Yakushin Workers' Council are in. No, that won't do. As he heard the clicking of the keys, he sighed. It was difficult ignoring the will of the people so blatantly. At the end of the day, it was all for the workers. Do not discuss this question further. Do not discuss this question further. Comrade, you used to be better than this. You want... Pachuro was suddenly interrupted. Comrade Pachuro, not only are you violating democratic centralism, but this is the third fight you have begun about policy in a month. But I have no interest in further participation in this committee. He was forced to fire his closest comrades by necessity. He couldn't help it. Tears welled up in his eyes as he began to sob in the empty room. The sacrifices to defend the October revolutions are great. The woe of the party. As he walked past the polling station, he saw the guards checking those called up for, to vote for the party membership card, warning them all that voting was for party members only. And finally, after all of that, we can complete an internal October. Dublin watched from his podium as the military parade commemorating the unification of Russia marched past him. These were not liberated workers celebrating their freedom. They were cogs in a fast machine. Where Yagoda would kill hundreds simply because they questioned his rule, Sablin merely imprisoned them for threatening innocent workers. But something essential was lost in that liberation. What was the cost of Red October? And as we complete that branch of the focus tree, the Russian National Reclamation Government under Dmitry Yasov has declared war on us. This will be the beginning of the last war. And 
and wow our war against Omsk is uh, really not going well right now but the thing is uh, both our country has zero manpower so I guess it's the game of uh, draining the opponent out and in that regards uh, we're doing quite well With that uh, final encirclement, Arms officially has zero divisions. Uh, this war is really just uh, bleeding both sides dry. I can just imagine uh, Yasov and Kostroma with his zero divisions. Now, uh, let's uh, knock out Kazakhstan as well. And with Kazakhstan defeated, we can now finally reunify the motherland. General Secretary Sablin has declared officially to the world that the USSR has been officially reborn. Sablin has apparently chosen to follow the path of his idol and crack down on political dissent, though the people remain overall supportive. As the new state gazes west, the world wonders if Sablin will follow the path of his forefathers, even if it leads to his doom. My actions are guided by only one desire, to do what is in my power so that our people wake up from political hibernation. And that ends our path to unwholesome Sablin. Honestly, uh, that wasn't even really that bad. Sure, Sablin is arresting political enemies, but honestly, the quality of life of the people of Russia is still increasing by a lot. And overall, I think uh, authoritarian socialist Sablin is more of a blurs unifier instead of a cursed one but this was an interesting playthrough nevertheless uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye